There's some fuzz floating around in front of my <laughs> face. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jen. I'm Corey. And we are Corey and Jen do, do stuff. stuff. Welcome to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Very happy to see you. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends as well as ding smash the bell. <clears throat> Please smash the bell. So you know when our videos are posted. We don't even know when our videos are posted. This is true. Maybe Recently. you should smash the bell. <laughs> I should smash the bell. <laughs> <laughs> we recently went out and did some stuff. And we wanted to share it with you. Heck yes. <laughs> so, now that we're up in Corey's neck of the woods, kind of where he grew up, all his friends are, and... um. Most of Corey's friends are in bands, as you can kind of see over there. Yeah, I was... His, his, that's like very... I've been known to fiddle around with the old get fiddle before in my life. It's like a minuscule piece of his oh, guitar collection. Three of the many. <laughs> um, there's more behind Jen. There's one against yeah, the wall over here. There's back there somewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we... This is what the third weekend we've been in Illinois and his buddies were playing. So we're like, yeah, we want to go listen. Heck yes, we did. And thank goodness the bars, <clears throat> the majority of stuff is open here. Masks are obviously worn, but we, we not, not in the bar, in the bar, but we wore them so, to the table. <laughs> as many of you know, Illinois is a very blue state very liberal and in chicago yeah everything here, south of chicago is considered downstate and everything downstate is very conservative so this is the first place i've ever been in when we visited in november we were here for a weekend like a four-day weekend for thanksgiving to see the kids and there are signs saying how much they hate the governor of the state <laughs> in everyone's yard. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah. They must not like him very much here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so down here, the, you have to wear the mask in the, the, you know, when you go to the grocery store or whatever. But at the bar, tight quarters, no six foot distancing. And hardly anyone's wearing a mask. We're not here to talk about yeah, that. I'm not going to get on like, my politics on yeah, the matter either we, way. But it's, They are very fast at vaccines. Just saying I don't want any fighting in the comments or whatever. Like they're handing out vaccines like candy here. Jen's already had, I've had her my, first dose. Yeah. Yeah, I get my second dose in two weeks or in a week and a half. But. Just saying that the. The politics of this area it's very are, different uh, yeah, more like texas was in very that much respect. felt like texas so when we said we're gonna go out to the bar um, we had masks in hand we brought them with us mm -hmm. completely thinking we were going to need them no one said a word there people are in and out without them i well we both wore ours to the table and then as soon as we got there we took them off because we had a drink, but mm -hmm. or, didn't wear them few. really the rest of the night. No. Um, but it was fun. And the band was amazing. And it was funny because I'm sure Corey will talk about it, but I like the fact that their singer was out sick and they still decided to go up and play. And the rest of the band kind of took turns singing the songs the lead singer would normally sing. And they were all really good. <laughs> so, and three of the members of the band were singers in other bands. Oh, so, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, that, I told Jen when we first moved here, and we, I said, we're going to go see some of these bands. I said, even before, we watched this band, actually, for a fundraiser for a local animal shelter. Oh, that's right. While we were in Texas, and we donated to that. Um, but they 
the drummer made our wands, our Harry Potter wands, which we have unboxing videos of on this channel. Corey will link them somewhere. I will link them, yes. And his Instagram and Etsy page. Amazing. Amazing. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you need to buy a wand from Gary. Amazing. Wands. No one else will ever have the same wand. I love that. <laughs> Gary was in a band. Uh, he sang. He's the drummer who makes the wands. He sings. He's so good. Mm -hmm. Josh, uh, the other, uh, the guitar player, lead guitar player, he was actually in a couple of bands with Gary. Um, I had told Jen that before we moved here that everyone is in bands with everyone yeah, else. Yeah, it's like musical bands. He, Corey will be pointing somebody out and say, that guy was in this band with that other guy. And then there's somebody watching, like seriously, on the dance floor, just standing there watching the band. And Corey will be like, that guy was in that band with that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And they, they, it's like inbreeding <laughs> of bands around here. Even bands that are currently going, there's like one member will be in like three different bands with, other people so it's like a six degrees of kevin bacon with band members around here <laughs> it's pretty crazy uh so yeah a lot of talent around here and a lot of stuff so we we got to see them their name is revel and red i uh, hope tommy's better we're going to see them again in a week or two on with, the 10th yeah with my best friend from childhood steve and his wife katie they're gonna be playing here in town so that'll be that'll be fun I'm so excited yeah i didn't i didn't get out on the dance floor near as much as i normally would have just because i was a little uncomfortable yet don't know the area didn't really know anybody so i just kind of stuck right next to Corey. <laughs> and um uh, but yeah, I met some really nice people. The wives of the band members had us hang out we, with them, and we babysat, babysat their, their purses, purses so we so could have they a place could go to go dance. Sit. And <laughs> it was it it was a lot of fun. And um, I think uh, you know, going with someone we know might be a little bit easier for me to get a little more comfortable. But I can't wait. They are so good and. They play a lot of really good music, like not one genre. They had a little mm. bit of everything. They did some Bowling for Soup. They did some Boston, some Bon Jovi, Motley mm. Crue. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of... It was, it was a lot of 80s stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, that's what I like. <laughs> like mm. That's my thing. So it was uh, some Bruce Springsteen. They did a lot of really good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so they were just so good. I they're probably one of my favorite current rock cover bands, even before moving here. <laughs> so then we got to meet, or I got to meet. Corey knew them, but a member of another band that was oh. there. They weren't playing; they were just there to watch Revel and Red. Waco Jesus. And, yeah. <laughs> And this is he a really cool. G-rated channel, but their music and album artwork is not G-rated oh, yeah, at they're all. Definitely not G-rated. But um, the gentleman I met, I don't, I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm a whore, both names, the blonde. I called him blonde. He said he has gray <laughs> hair, but it was dark in there. I don't know. Um, he was thankful. Jen scored some major brownie points with Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> It's a really, really long block. Uh, long their, gray, but. their other guitar player, Chris, was there. I didn't even oh, see yeah. him. He was there. And their drummer, who lives in Delaware, mm. had flown in for practice because they practice here in Illinois. So he And he's with another band, too, or was. I believe he said that he... I'm probably going to butcher this. Uh, I think he said he was in Monstrosity? But I could be wrong. It could. Be... I don't remember. I know I overheard it, but I don't recall. I thought he said monstrosity. It could have been malevolent creation. It was an M band. I know the name began with an M. But it was so cool to see them having a good time, listening to another band, and just having a good time. And came up and introduced. Well, he said hi to Corey, of course, and then introduced <laughs> himself to me. And 
It was it was a really good night. Uh, yeah, and we'll we're gonna throw in sporadically maybe some video footage. I don't want to play too much because it is cover music. I don't want us to get a copyright strike or yeah. anything. But I'll throw in some video clips here and there. Uh, yeah, it was it was super fun. We're gonna go see him again. Uh, maybe we'll get some pictures of us with them. Maybe next time we'll get some snapshots. That'd be cool. uh, we didn't want to seem like a fangirl. Like, uh, no, I've I known totally you for years, but let's whatever. get some pictures for yeah. the video. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe they'll let me video with our stabilizer. I noticed they had somebody videotaping them with just their cell phone. And we've done that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But sometimes it's hard to get decent video quality, especially with a band when you're moving, trying to get different video and stuff like that. So maybe they'll let me take a little bit of video with our stabilizer. Yeah, maybe in this next show we'll get a video maybe we'll have some production credits for maybe doing a video not, but <laughs> We're not that it'll good. be fun um and i think there's an there was another band too i kind of showed Corey. maybe we can go watch i don't remember the name of them off the bat you had mentioned hairbangers ball oh yeah hairbangers ball they're coming total 80s yeah all hair band oh, 80s hair band stuff yeah the stuff we grew up on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big old hair. Um, and then there was a couple other just local bands here. Corey, I'm sure Corey probably knows them. Um, usually I'll yell out, hey, so-and-so's playing this weekend. He'll be like, oh, yeah, blah, I played with him, blah, 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 or I know him, blah, blah. All right, well, <laughs> do you want to go see him or not? <laughs> oh, heck yeah. I'm, I'm always up for going and seeing music. Uh, the, one of the downfalls in Texas, I did not grow up on country music i did not like country music and right after i moved there my roommate who lived with my friend derek uh who i had we both lived there with derek he was in a texas country band so <laughs> i got really familiar with country music but texas country texas there's country there's there, a very there is a very, very hard difference. line difference mm -hmm. uh so a lot of the music that I listened to while I was in Texas was Texas country when I would go see bands. So Oh, now I remember who it was and he brought it up was Granger Smith is coming. <gasps> Granger Smith is coming and and he's Nashville, but I think we might try to go see him. I've seen him once. He opened I've up seen, for Kane Brown. I saw Granger when my old roommate's band opened for him in Midland. So yeah. So I think that's a definite possibility. That's yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not a free show like most of the other stuff around here, but I think it's very minimal cost. Um, I think so it was like twenty or twenty five dollars to I think go it see was him. Twenty five dollars, not bad. I paid way more than that to see him open up for Kane Brown. <laughs> way more. So, yeah. So we have some stuff lined up. So hopefully you guys dig the music stuff and dig what revel and red is doing and definitely look them up i know they're on youtube i don't know if it's their channel but i know other people have i'll put a link to some of their stuff down below too i'll yeah. have some little clips here but i'll put links to their they're really good and they do do like charity functions like um uh, cory had mentioned earlier that was my first um, interaction or, you know, being able to see them and experience their music was a charity event for TAPS, which is an animal. Taswell Animal Protection Service. Yeah. Um, they are a no-kill shelter. Mm -hmm. That's a, one of the reasons we donated. But they played on the river and they were on, on Facebook the, Live. On the lake. Or on the lake, sorry. Yep. Yeah, they were on the lake. Um, and they did a Facebook Live. So I got to watch and listen to them and it was really good. So I'm excited to go see them and hang out with them again. Between sets, they'd they all come over to the table and <laughs> hang out. And Gary would talk to us about Harry Potter and his yeah, wand. He talked his, to Jen about Harry Potter. I was an afterthought. And, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was talking to you too. But yeah, it was it was fun and 
nice to get out of the house, you know, and go hang out with adults. We In <laughs> Texas, we spend a lot of time in the house on the weekends instead of getting to go do stuff. And now we have the freedom to go. There's more stuff going on here than there was in Texas. Absolutely. The time, so. And if you've seen our previous video about our updates, you know, um, obviously my I've been working since we got here. That's one of the reasons we kind of had to do the quick move is because of my job and then I've switched jobs. But I have weekends off. So, and Corey's job prospect he's got that hopefully we'll know by the end of this next week. Um, he'll have weekends off too. So it'll be really nice to be able to go do things. Yes, it will. Yes, Some it six will. Flags, maybe. They're opening six flags. pretty oh soon. Goodness. I just saw or just heard a commercial on the radio, I think. I love Six Flags. <laughs> I, I literally I love Six Flags. Maybe we let us know down below what you want to see. Um, I have some Disney planning I can go over with anyone interested in the Disney trip. There's, uh, I think we're going to try and go to a couple of parks nearby in the lake. And um, yeah. We so, have a lagoon here in town. That... Yes. I want to take Luna out for a walk, my little puppy. So yeah, there's a few things we want to do and share and bring you guys along with us. So, and I don't think I've mentioned on this channel yet, but we booked a cruise. <gasps> or we're booking a cruise. I haven't I officially you, booked it yet. I think you did. I thought I told the other channel. Well, we're telling, we're me telling too. you too. Booked a cruise. You. Yeah, guess you. you. <laughs> we're telling you. <laughs> Bloggers Extravaganza Cruise, January 2023. And hopefully maybe next year we can look into, I think it's going to be kind of a push for this year, but the Universal has a night, a couple of nights, where they let YouTubers and stuff in to at night to ride rides. I do believe it's during the yeah, it's, um, the Halloween vid. Horror Nights. No. Is it during the I No, it it's the one. very first weekend of June this year. Oh. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights is separate, and they they do have a vlogger's night, but um, they have not stated that they're going to do that this year yet. So, But I'm keeping an eye on things and seeing what else comes up, as I know we wanted to try Universal. Um, it might be a little bit tough because I'm a little on the bigger side. I don't know that I'll fit all the rides. I am on the bigger side <laughs> as well. So, yeah, not so sure. But we definitely want to go see the Wizarding World and um, experience, at the very least, like, you know, the wand um, experience at Ollivander's. And there are things you can do that are not rides. So Absolutely. But it is expensive to get in. Um, so then it's trying to weigh out if you want to pay to get in just to do those things or not. So, but we have a lot, um, that we would like to do. So hopefully we'll bring you along with us. We want to share with you guys <laughs> and hopefully maybe one day we'll meet you guys, like have a meetup or something, have something fun, maybe at Six Flags or something. That would be That'd awesome. Be awesome. Yes. So please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And ding. Smash a de bell. Ding. -a -bell. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Please let us know down below what you guys want to see, what you don't want to see. We'll read it. I'll wear a mask if you don't like my ugly face. That's fine. All right. <laughs> we said what they want to see or what they don't want to see. No one wants to see the, this. Um, Newsflash. <laughs> They've already subscribed. <gasps> Did they? Did Thank they? you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.